A retired Delta Airlines pilot is dead after crashing his small private plane. First responders started looking for 57-year-old Robert Askins last night after he didn't come home to Gallatin County. Jeff Hirsch was there as his downed plane was discovered today in Switzerland County. Deputies raced out of the Gallatin County Sheriff's Office after getting word that the wreckage of a small plane had been found across the Ohio River in a cornfield in Switzerland County, Indiana. The pilot, Robert Askins, took off at around 5 p.m. yesterday from a private airstrip at his house but never returned. The pilot and the plane were missing. It's an experimental aircraft. It's called a Fisher uh, cel Celebration. Uh, celebrity, yeah, Fisher Celebrity Aircraft. Uh, he just bought it in early July. But while the plane was rather new to the pilot, flying certainly was not. Mr. Askins is a very uh, seasoned pilot, uh, flew commercially for better 30 years, uh, commercial jets, jetliners, uh, and then prior to that was a uh, fighter pilot uh, in the Air Force uh, and also trained fighter pilots in the Air Force. So uh, everybody that I've talked to that's ever rode in an airplane with him, he was very thorough about his pre-flight inspections, um, So and he knew the area, so uh, it, nothing should have been a surprise to him as far as the train goes. And there was no distress call? No distress call at all. The search began last night. Emergency management says a radar trace last saw the plane at 485 feet heading west. And an emergency radio beeper, which downed aircraft give off, provided a rough location. But bad weather overnight stopped the search until a plane went up this morning and spotted the wreckage. One of the first responders who was actually down at the crash scene told us that a piece of the plane was found about 100 yards from the main body of the wreckage. What does that mean? Does it mean the plane hit, the piece came off, and the plane bounced or went back up into the air? Was the pilot trying to make an emergency landing? And if so, why? All part of the ongoing investigation. The FAA and NTSB will now try to figure out why a man who loved to fly and did it for years went out on a recreational flight, which ended in tragedy. Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. There was no one else on board the plane. Askins was an inspector for the Federal Aviation Administration, which will now investigate his crash.